Each year, the Cabe Board of Directors honors those with exemplary vision, leadership, and service to the English learner community. Here to present today's board award is Cabe Board Director of Financial Affairs, Barbara Flores. Good morning, everyone. Cabe bestows this special award to Madeira Unified School District in recognition of the first dual language immersion program in Madeira County. It is special to my heart because I am from Madeira. I was born and raised in Madeira. Uh, it's incredible. Um, I, 65 years ago, I was punished for speaking Spanish with a ruler on my knuckles. Uh, my braids pulled and we were pinched. And so 65 years later, si se puede, verdad? Si se puede in terms of providing dual immersion finally for our community in Madeira in the central San Joaquin Valley. This action by the Madeira Unified School District Board is particularly significant because it is a bold step to offer bilingual programs in an area of the state where very few have been implemented. Madeira Unified is leading the way and opening the door as an example for other rural and valley school districts. The school board under the leadership of President Al Galvez took the lead by studying and planning for two years so that they could launch a successful model. Superintendent Todd Lyle, uh, Principal Mercedes Ochoa of Madison School District, teachers and parents as well as community uh, members were committed to providing a learning environment where all students would become biliterate, think, communicate, read and write in Spanish and English, and demonstrate high levels of academic achievement in both languages as well as attain the California seal of biliteracy. Besides fostering high academic achievement and bilingualism, biliteracy, the dual language program fosters cross-cultural relationships, builds leadership and confidence, develops strong school and family partnerships, and strengthens brain development and problem-solving skills. On behalf of the Cabot Board of Directors, we are honored to present Madera Unified School District with the 2018 Courage to Act Award. Let's give them a big hand. I now ask uh, President Galvez to please say a few words. Thank you, Barbara. On behalf of Madera Unified School District, its staff, those who are here, the, the superintendent and our principal for our DLI school, we accept this award and, and, and an honor to accept it. But there's one thing that I want to give a special shout out, and that's to our, our board. Our board was, was committed to making sure DLI was successful. And there's a lot of roadblocks that we're in the middle of the valley. And some of the discussions was that uh, this is gonna be something that we'll get a lot of pushback from. And administration came with some, some, uh, some items that they felt we could, probably couldn't do DLI, but our board was committed. It was 7-0 from the day we said we're gonna do it, to 7-0 now. Two years later, we're in action our third year. And that's what we needed. We needed to be strong. We knew that this is something that the Valley needed, Madera needed, Madera Unified needed. And then when we brought on our new superintendent, Todd Lyle, he knew the direction the board wanted to go. And he made sure from the direction of the board that DLI will be successful and making sure that he hired the right principal, which is Mercedes standing next to me, to make sure it's successful. And we opened our first school in August and it's, it's been very successful. We'll plan to open another school next year, so we'll have two schools the following year. Not this coming year, unfortunately, but, we're, but the, the tests and results will show that this is, this is what we wanted. This is what the kids needed. Our challenge is that we don't have uh, our Hispanic community open to this. So we talk about uh, bringing in our DLAC parents to promote this, and that's where we've been successful. Our DLAC parents are the ones that are saying, are selling it. Los Huelos, they want to be in it. They want to be part of it. We got too many, but we can't seem to achieve the numbers that we need to get our Hispanic students, our EL students involved. But we're getting there. 
that's the only challenge we have. But with the commitment that we have from our DLAC parents, we'll be successful. Thank you very much.